The second annual South South Awards held at the famous Waldorf Astoria in New York honored governments, the private sector, and civil society organizations for their achievements in e-government infrastructure and the promotion of sustainable tourism and were organized by South South News. It is a pleasure and an honor to welcome you to the 2012 South South Awards. The Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda. This year's awards are in recognition of the widespread innovative and entrepreneurial use of information and communication technologies. The International Telecommunications Union. In my capacity as Secretary General of the International Telecommunication Union, I am pleased to be honored to be associated with this wonderful event. And the United Nations World Tourism Organization. Tourism today is a major socio-economic activity in our world. It means new opportunities for economic growth, jobs and poverty reduction, especially for women and youth. Joining heads of state and high-level officials from the United Nations and countries around the world at this ceremony were A-list musical stars who performed for the audience, including Don Felder of the Eagles. Violinist Miri Benari. <laughs> Singer songwriter Stephen Bishop. On and on, on and on, on and on. Puerto Rican salsa sensation Gilberto Santa Rosa. <laughs> and Angelique Kidjo. <laughs> Television and film star Laura Preppen served as the evening's mistress of ceremonies. Our goal tonight is to raise awareness of the vital work by the United Nations, governments, organizations, and individuals who have made significant contributions to the implementation of e-governance and sustainable tourism. Awardees included the presidents of Zambia. The South-South Global Governance Leadership Award epitomizes Zambia's resolve for one democratic tenants in Africa through the holding of free and fair elections over the years and years to come. And the Prime Minister of Lesotho. It is really a great pleasure for me to accept this on behalf of my country. And uh, as a person who is completely surrounded by South Africa, we are proud that we played a very big role in getting rid of apartheid there. So all of you can come to Southern Africa and enjoy the sunshine there and the hospitality of our people. Former president of Nigeria. No community today in the world can claim to be living as part of the world without ICT. Joining these heads of state were award recipients, African Union Chairperson, N.C. Dalmeen Zuma. I'm humbled because whatever I've done, I've done just in the love of our people, the love of the continent, and the love of humanity. humanity. For corporate social responsibility, Chen Feng of the HNA Group. My business culture is company have to make money, but sometimes we need to benefit social and other people. For humanitarian efforts, Han Denham of the Brightness Action. The work is very useful for the cataract, the patients, and the hearing uh, impaired, the children. The governments of Angola, Barbados, Cape Verde, Mauritius, Panama, Seychelles, South Africa, the United Arab Emirates and Uruguay were also recognized for their achievements in e-government infrastructure for her work in promoting sustainable tourism, Miss Universe 2011, Lila Lopez. The importance of promoting tourism and that every country in this universe has something to offer everyone. And for lifetime cultural achievement, Gilberto Santa Rosa. We're playing the same music, pursuing Love, peace, and togetherness. While Robin DiMaggio, the South South Awards musical director, led the all-star band throughout the night. 
In recognizing the accomplishments of these awardees, the South South Awards aim to commend them for their tireless work in promoting international development and to raise awareness about their work towards achieving the Millennium Development Goals. The South South Awards, highlighting the importance of global development.